Hi guys! Vex here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And we're still in the land of long cutscenes and me not doing overly much, but uh, we're getting there. We're definitely getting through this a lot faster than the first time I did it. Part of me thought about maybe skipping the tutorial entirely, but it is a big part of the game. It establishes the character's motivations and setting. It doesn't feel right to just drop it out entirely. But I'm working my way through this as fast as I can. Sigismund's hired himself a mob of foreign mercenaries. They don't know this country like we do. We could hide out somewhere until it blows over. Maybe. Only all they have to do is lean on some scarlet surf and you'll happily tell them everything. I... I didn't think of that. Yep. Not that I'm spoiling for a fight. Of course it's scarlet and white Sigismund's bath. If it's Sigismund and his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? Let's see what's going on. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir. But I should just say I yes here. To to Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. It would save a lot of time. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir, quiet! I like that I get called a donkey. I'm sorry about your father. But getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. 
Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! So I think Hanish le leads Ratte, Divish is leading Talmberg, and Radzik here was the leader of um, my hometown, but now he's displaced and he's going to go hole up in the... Uh... Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people, now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? What is it you need? What the hell? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Well, yeah, Splendid. I mean, I'm being kind of a free Don't worry. right now. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. So I gotta keep watch on the battlements. Alright, so we'll just, uh, we'll just keep watch here. That's a house. That's a tree. That's the sky. Getting rained on, yep. Um, hey. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. So this is basically the t tutorial on waiting. Um, sure, I'll lean here where it's... Maybe have some slight cover from the rain-ish. And we'll wait till morning. Uh... How about mm, 7 a.m.? Oh, what to do with a bite to eat? <coughs> Don't I have some food? Here, why don't you eat that roast duck? Coming. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. 
Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike Mark against Vart. those who disrupt concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Vart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund That's insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Ratzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then? that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. I like Diva, she's pretty cool. Everybody was sitting here holding their breaths and nobody realized it. Oh shit. Yay, we don't all get slaughtered today. My Woo! Lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. This little bastard. I'm gonna crack that bald head of his like an egg with some giant mace. Sounds good to me. Good job, Sir Divish. Lord Divish. I will say his name makes me think of like a, um, a, 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 like a, like a divot. Yeah, like a golf, like a golf green divot. Alright, so the situation now is that I'm basically... Not his usual grouchy self at all. What's he so pleased about all of a sudden? Haven't you heard? He's caught in some wench on the side. What? Vashek? He must be pulling my pizzle. There isn't a woman round her who'd look twice at the horny old goat, excepting that vixen of his. No, but she's not from round here. She don't live in the village, but maybe up at the mill, or with the charcoal what? burners. They said they can slice a cow or a man in two halves from here. Alright. So we're basically stuck here. Um, 
and we need to get out of here to bury... Hi. I know you. You're from the kitchen. I think. Alright, um, so let's go back this way. There's Lord Divish. Uh, so, rather than spend an hour wandering around the castle, thankfully, once again, I do already know what, what to do. Hell? Sort of. Alright, so basically I need to take all the... Basically I need to raise some money, for the most part. Um, so any kind of food that they're willing to share with me. We'll take the wine, roast duck, cheese, more cheese, bonus cheese, all of the cheese. Excellent. Alright, because I don't have that much on me at the moment. So I do need to go buy, I will need to buy lock picks, I believe. Cheese, bread. Uh, Alright, hopefully this is enough. And then... Need to run over here. Supposedly talk to somebody. I'm not actually sure what my quest objective right now is. Oh yeah, talk to him. He's not gonna let me go though. God be with you. Uh, Sigismund raided Scarlet's to take the silver there. Sigismund is after the crown and to put down allies of King Wenceslaus and the Cumans. Where did these Cumans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Alright, uh, let me go robot, please? I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Let's try my strongest attribute, maybe? Or maybe I'll just try... Well, the thing is, he could have really high charisma, too. Uh, I'm actually just going to try speech. Even though I'm lower at it, he might be lower at it, too. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Yep. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Alright. Okay, so now I've got to figure out a way out of the castle. Um, so let's go swing by the mill. House, the mill house. I think this is the guy I'm looking for. This is the guy. Boteva. Hey, buddy! Good day to you. What do you need? Let's trade some stuff. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Alright, how much coin do I have? I've got 18.3. And he's got these lockpicks that I need. Well, let's see what I can sell. Um, the apples. The bread. cheese, the roast duck, the wine, um, maybe I should sell one of those, uh, alright, so I get 22 and I have 18, oh shit, that's That's ba that's enough for 
I'd like to discuss picks. the price. Naturally. Can you come down a bit? Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded. Cool. All right, I got two lock picks now. All right, next on the list is there's the gate. I can't go after. He's not gonna let me out. Um. So I basically need to head back up. Hey. Into Talmberg Castle, which is where? This way. Alright, and with my lockpicks, I need to go... Well, first, I need to talk to... Where is she? Maybe if I wait, she'll show up in the courtyard. That's a villager. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to... Um, I need food. Let's see if there's anything going on in the kitchen I can have. Hello? Can I have some food? Alright, whatever. Is there anything left here I can eat in case I do get hungry? Or did I literally take all the food out of here? I don't want to rob anybody. Maybe I shouldn't have sold all of their food. Nah, anyway. Um, Alright, she's probably... I'm looking for the lady of the castle. She's probably up here, if I had to guess. Hello? Hello? Whoops. Um, I'm sorry. I was just looking for the lady of the castle, wherever she might be. That's locked. Maybe she's up here? I need to talk to her. Locked. Open. This is somebody's room. And I'm not trespassing here, really? Huh. Interesting. I thought I'd be trespassing here. Oh, bugger all. There she is. Oh, she looks busy. This would be their chapel, I suppose. Um, bless the Holy Father in Heaven. Uh, forgive us our sins. I'm in. Um, okay. Hi! God save. Can I help you with anything? I have to go to Scallops. I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? It's my duty to bury them. My lady, I know you have a good heart. I can't live with the thought of my parents being left in the mud to be food for stray dogs. How can their souls find peace until they rest in hallowed ground? My dear boy, yes. you risk your own life to give them a Christian burial? My heart goes out to you. I will do what I can to help, though I'll tremble in fear until your return. But what can I do? If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... But you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. And where can I get the armor? At the armory? Where's that? 
in the gate. Now we're in business. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money. And unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. And I'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. All right, cool. We have Thank an you. alibi. Right. We've got lock go picks. Now. We know where the armor is. We can do this. God bless. All right, cool. All right. And I've got the the alibi is what I needed. Um, and also some money to buy. To either if I screw up, I can bribe the guard, or I could go buy another lock pick if mine break. All right. So I know where some armor is. So yeah, the good reason is. Uh, all right. So I, I just go in here. It's a private area, but I sneak, and I sneak, I sneak, I sneak, I sneak, and we want to open this. Lockpick this. Oh god, I suck at lockpicking. Okay. So basically you have to use the right control stick of your controller to go over here and find the sweet spot that lights up yellow. And then once you do... And the game doesn't pause, by the way. This is st People are walking around in the game world right now, so... All right, and then you rotate with the other controller, and then you move the sweet spot along as you rotate the lock. Oh god, I'm going to fail. Stop. Okay. All right, just just stop. All right, back out. Um, let's restart again. All right, sweet spot. Maybe there will be an easier one to find. Pardon my French. Oh, stop! All right. Um, save. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use one of my one of my save potions. All right. I, I'm gonna have to save scum this. I can't screw this up. I only have one lockpick left. All right, come on. This is really difficult, by the way. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes! Give me all that. Alright, cool. And then go up the ladder. Now up here is... Oh, please nobody see me. Okay, come on. I want this, I want this arrow. Yes, steal that. I want a bow. Because I know what's coming up ahead. I'm going to run into some bandits and like... They're actually pretty hard to fight. I want to have plenty of ammo. And, uh... Let's take that, I guess. And the ash bow. I want that hazel bow as well. Both bows. And... No, I don't want to lockpick these. Alright, um... And then finally a shield... And then I think I'm good to go. There we go. I probably want to take the bow that I can actually use. And uh, equip some long distance arrows. <coughs> cool. Um, let's get the hell out of here. Make a pretty good time, I think, all things considered. Hello, horsey. <coughs> Sorry, dude. chickens.
Jesus Christ be praised. I need to get out of here. Says who? I've never seen you before in my life. And that's odd, seeing as how you're wearing our colours. I'm Sir Robar's messenger. He's sending me to Ujits to find out if Sigismund's army has been giving them trouble. I might believe you if I knew who you were. Who the hell are you? I'm, uh... You know who I am. You know who I am. I have to get out to take care of my parents. Everyone will understand why you let me go. Oh shit, I didn't mean to say that. To Please. Do you think oh, I'm a total idiot? My master shit. will be furious if I let you out. Shit. And when Captain oh, Robard no. isn't happy, he makes damn sure nobody else is either. Ah, oh, damn it. On the other hand, you've dressed up so nicely, and it's a shame to let it go to waste. The old man won't like it, but I'll act stupid and I won't get worse than a bollocking. If you make it worth my while, of course. Since it's you. Come now, just a little more, and we have a deal. Alright, I'll meet you halfway. Now you're speaking my language. Good luck then. Try not to get yourself killed. Damn it! Hey! Open the gate! Awesome. Let's get out of here. Uh, I think it's this way. So now we get to ride through the country for a little while. Let's see how good my sensor direction is. I believe this is the way I came in. Only I think I was on the road to the right and not this one on the left. But I think they go to the same place. on the bridge to cross over. And thankfully the game doesn't make me go all the way to Scalitz. It uh, <laughs> lets me have a cutscene here. You'll have to wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. So this took me extra time because I had to walk because I was over encumbered because I took too much stuff with me. But um, now I know not to do that. Looks like they've already gone. Uh, so, just a heads up. Um, mature content warning. I don't know if there's any little kids watching this, but if there's little kids watching this, you should stop watching this right now. This is a uh, this is pretty tough content here. Can't say I'd do any different if it was real life and I saw a bunch of dead neighbors. So you can loot all the loot you can loot just about every dead body you see and they pretty much have like well yeah, just like snacks on them. Uh so let's see, this is bow and arrow. I definitely want to use that. So there are going to be, just like the guy said, some bandits on the road here. Like 
Damn it, dude. What have we got here? Entertainment. Yeah, screw you. So, getting some arrows in them in advance. Oh. Oh, shit. Draw your sword, you You'll damn get bad. What for? Now I've got a shield. This guy's actually got a, a proper sword, too, to fight me with. But, thankfully, because... I'll take my arrow back. Thank you very much. Those look nice. See, I'm over encumbered now, so... Sort by value, maybe? Ditch all these old things? Uh, it, it doesn't actually matter, really. But yeah, I, I, by hitting that guy with an arrow and wounding him, I made that fight way, 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 way easier for myself. Also, I've just gotten a little bit better at the game. Um, I had a really tough time with that first bandit, because he's actually got a pretty decent sword. Uh, and also, archery in this game is fairly challenging. So yeah, there's scallops way off in the distance. Oh my god, the rain and the foliage. This is probably going to look really crap on YouTube. There's, a, there's I think there's three bandits in total, if I remember this part correctly. Sweet Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. Oh yeah. Oh god, that's the guy I bought charcoal from in the in the opening of the game. Somebody just running off. I'm not sure who that was. Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Uh, oh yeah. Now you know why I said if there's any kids watching, you should probably stop watching. All right, I gotta go uh, this way. I think there's a dude up here. Yeah, there he is. What's that? Yeah, you better get out of here. Screw you, buddy. There's no way I'm going to hit him from here. I guess I could run after him. I think I can tackle him with left trigger or something if I run up behind him. Shit. So this is what I think about you looting all my, like, dead neighbors and relatives. Shit. Hold on a sec. Gotcha. Uh, he's got an axe on him. Do I want an axe? He's got plate tours. Is that better than what I'm wearing? I'll take the axe too, let's see. Uh, my armor. Plate coutures. Oh yeah, I didn't have any of that. I've got better armor now. Um, 
It's got slashing and blunt damage, whereas my weapon has... Where did my, uh... Oh, it's a quest item. Oh, no, I think I'm gonna rather... I would rather use this. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's carry on. I think I gotta go this way. There should be one more bandit left. Um, last time I did this, he came at me with like a trunch, and there he is. I see him through in the distance. Uh, I wonder if I can get him from like stealth. What's going on there? What's that? Well, I never. The uh oh. No, 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 no! Hi. How you doing? Oh man, he's like half dead by the time he got to me. I'll stab you! Yeah, stab you again! And then, yeah, I'm dead. Boop! Also take that those bandages, yeah. And he had like a he literally had a stick. Whoa! Did you see that lightning? That was cool. <sighs> yeah, I was I was the first time I played this, I was pretty depressed because I was I was also half dead, and I couldn't run because I was overweight. All right, we're 42 minutes in, and uh, I think I'll stop here, and we will see the depressing tone this, uh, this takes next episode. Uh, next episode should also wrap up the prologue slash tutorial content of this game, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it is a dark and stormy day. But anyway, if you liked my content, check out my Patreon link down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, take it easier than that horse right there. Ugh.